<laughs> there we go. It's been a while. It sure has. It's been a minute. Hopefully the microphone's on. I think it is. <laughs> um, are we live? We're waiting for the signal. Let's see. Here we go. Game time. All right, who's gonna be first? <laughs> Might just be of me. Wow. It'll probably take a second to oh, yeah. update. I haven't got anything yet. My thing didn't even turn green yet. I know, it still says we're offline. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> All right, we're back. All right. What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Drop some questions, you know the deal. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What's up, Aaron? What's going Aaron's on? Aaron's in the house. Uh, so some of the, I guess we can go with uh, some updates, uh, but let's wait until we get a few more people in. And what's going on? It's kind of laggy today. <laughs> Steezy02, you get a shout out. What's up, man? Playing golf tomorrow. You want to tell them about where, where we're golfing? So we're going to play at this awesome golf course that we're not going to video, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's called Palma Valley. It's out in Valley Center. It's kind of out in the mountains a little bit. Uh, one of the best design courses in San Diego, one of my all-time favorites. I took Marco out there about five years ago. Um, just a great layout, super awesome greens. Um, I think we're going to try and play a second round in the next week or two and uh, film that one. So. We'll give you guys a little preview uh, on Instagram tomorrow. Uh, we'll do some videos, and uh, we're gonna try and do better on Instagram also <laughs> for you guys. Uh, so yeah. Tyler said I uh, need to sign up for the tournament. Is there still some openings? And there definitely is. So the link's gonna be down in the description, guys. You know the deal. Just check it out. The tournament's July 16th. It's a Monday, over at the Santa Santa Luz Club. Uh, there's gonna be lunch and dinner, and uh, it's gonna be a fun day. So. If you guys can make it out, we'd love to see you and uh, yeah, play some golf together. And then the day after, we're gonna play over at the RVN. If you guys have any interest in that, uh, let us know and we will uh, we'll book it. How do you hit a stinger? Um, you know, I think just keeping your hands in front of the club face at all times when you make it uh, impact. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. Uh, Alex said, How, uh, how's the pool coming along? It's going really well. Uh, the pool they shot treated it, so it's all, you know it's taken shape, and uh, we're just waiting for tiling and coping. I think that's next. I have to water the thing like three times a day. It takes like 30 minutes, so uh, that's been fun. But uh, yeah, the whole backyard's going well. Can't wait to to see it done. The neighbors just finished theirs, and um, it looks awesome. By yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks <laughs> looks ridiculous. So uh, yeah, it's going well. Uh, Charles in the house. What's up, man? Uh, Aaron says back and better. <laughs> That's Paris's trademark. <laughs> <laughs> What's Justin's, Brian's, and Paris's handicap? Um, I think B's like a two, Justin's probably like a four. Um, and Paris, I think she's at like a scratch or plus one maybe. Charles said digging the shirt, Mike. Mm, always looking fresh. <laughs> Santa Luz, look at him repping right there. <laughs> Um, and then also, just to give you guys a quick update, um, one of our next big vlogs uh, will be May 23rd at the Crosby yeah. with Claire and Paris. So stay tuned for that. Um, it should probably be out a couple days after uh, we play, so uh, right around the 26th or so. Jamie said, what's the best driver that we've used? Uh, right now, the TaylorMade M2, uh, it's been fitted for me, so I feel like that's, that's pretty much the best driver. Um, I do hit quite a few fairways, so um, I don't think I'll be switching unless uh, Callaway wants to get us in for a fitting and we'd love to, you know, check those uh, those new rogues out. They look pretty sweet. I'm in the same boat as Mike, loving them too, and uh, yeah, never never had a better driver than this one right now, so uh, don't plan on swapping out anytime soon. Um, and then real quick, um, just a, a big thank you to Callaway and Odyssey. They hooked us up with uh, three different cutters. Uh, one that I'm using, one that Marco's using, and then in the giveaway on May 23rd, we're going to do the other Odyssey putter that they gave us, so should be pretty sweet. Matt said, what's up boys? Y'all and Tiger have got me really into golf uh, these past couple months. Still suck, but hey, getting better. 
love to hear that, Matt. Um, I, th I think it's great that people are starting to watch golf more, whether it's because of Tiger or anyone else. Um, it's always good to, you know, to see the game growing and get more people interested in it. And uh, happy that our channel is doing that too. Uh, Corey asked, uh, "What what your guys' lob wedge, ba uh, lob wedge bounces are?" Um, the 64, I think, is six degrees of bounce, and then uh, my 60 degree wedge is, I think, also six degrees, um, and then uh, my gap wedge, I think, is like eight or ten. Yeah, my lob wedge is uh, ten degrees of bounce, but that's I wanted it to be less than that, but they you don't have an option when you're a lefty, so it's that's all tailor made offered. Uh, Olaf asked uh, what our handicaps are. Uh, I'm about a one and he's like a two. Uh, Aaron said, uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> whoops, there we go. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> oh, jeez, here uh, we go. Aaron said, someone uh, tell Andrew Jensen to stop stealing the golf holics music. Yeah, uh, gotta be honest about that. Uh, that his intro was, looked a lot familiar. I think he changed it recently, so um, yeah, go check it out if you guys uh, maybe leave him a comment, let him know what you think. But um, yeah, some of the same music and stuff, so <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, Kyle said, uh, "What balls are you guys hitting uh, right now?" We're using the Chrome Soft uh, for the most part. Um, they're just pretty much the best ball in the market, we think. Uh, Peter asked if we ever thought we were going to Europe. Um, you know, probably in the next couple of years at some point, we just don't have any plans of it. This year is pretty much booked up and then part of next year's is a little, uh, kind of booked up too for the summertime. Keith said he wants to close to the pin with Mike for 10 bucks. If you want a piece of Mike, you come out to the tournament and uh, this guy will do a close to the pin with anyone. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Y'all think Tiger wants a piece of Phil? <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Phil, Phil was talking a little bit smack, I think, at the players. Yeah, Phil's game's on yeah. uh, on point right now, it and is. Tigers is starting to get on point. But I, I like that uh, banter between those two old timers. You know, it's great to see. <laughs> Emil said, "I started playing last year and have a goal to get down to a single uh, handicap in order to get free equipment. I'm an 18 year old right now. Uh, what should I practice the most in order to reach that goal?" So I don't think you should start with the goal of getting free stuff. Like play golf because you enjoy it and it's fun and you want to get better. Because I think having any kind of monetary goals, it's really hard to stay dedicated and focused, whether it's in business or in golf. So I think really just finding a passion and sticking with, and you know, working towards a goal when you have a passion is a lot easier than monetary. But other than that, I mean, identify the parts of your game that need work. You know. If, when you get you know, in a bunker and you notice that you're not getting up and down 50% of the time, we'll go work on that. If you're hitting balls out of bounds still, go work on that. I mean, there's probably, uh, you probably know your game much better than, than we can assess it right now. But yeah, just analyze it. Well said. <laughs> um, Kurt asked how I'm liking the uh, XO. Um, is that, how, do, is that how you say it? XO, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's the Odyssey putter that um, AJ hooked us up with. Uh, I absolutely love it. it. It's the purest rolling putter I've ever used. Um, so I'm a huge fan of it. Marco beat me in a putting contest yesterday, so uh, he's using the other one that AJ. <laughs> uh, so yeah, <laughs> um, and then we're gonna do the giveaway for the third putter on May 23rd uh, with the girls over at the Crosby. Oh, somebody donated four dollars and ninety-nine cents. It looks like Aaron. So let's see. Uh, Thank you, Aaron. I'll donate five bucks. I owe Mark to the channel. <laughs> oh, I love you guys. Oh, so thank good. you guys. Yeah, you guys keep betting and then donate it to the, the channel, and we'll do more things with it. Uh, someone said, "Do you guys have a warm-up routine?" I mean, we our warm-up routine is pretty much the same. We go out there, we hit a couple lob wedges, a couple pitching wedges, maybe a seven iron, a couple drivers. Mm -hmm. We don't really like. We go roll putts probably more more than we do anything else, I would say, especially if it's a new course. Yeah, so, you know, by the time we get there, you know, we're busting out the drone, we're flying yeah. over the, the course, and, you know, we're trying to stay under the radar, not to piss anyone off, so I think um, we don't have as much time for warm-up, and then obviously doing all the, the intro stuff, like the B-roll that Marco loves, takes up a lot of time, so we, we usually get about five minutes of warm-up, which is terrible, because we're getting older, and we should probably stretch a little bit, and, 
hit a few more balls, but it's okay. Uh, someone said, uh, are you guys going to make an East Coast trip anytime soon? And we're actually looking at doing a Pennsylvania trip in September. I'm going out there and playing Marion and uh, Ace Club and maybe one or two other courses. I got a buddy that lives in the area and uh, he invited us out. So I think September we might be looking at a trip out there. So yeah, if you guys are anywhere in Pennsylvania and you want us to come out to your club, send us a message and maybe we can set something up. So many comments, sorry. <laughs> oh, another update that we didn't, I don't think we shared any information about this, but we've been talking to the SCGA. They reached out to us and they want to do some stuff with us. So um, there's a, probably going to be some upcoming videos where we go play some courses that they're going to hook us up at, um, get us out there. And uh, we're going to do some, some, some collaborations with them. So we're really looking forward to that. If you guys aren't part of the SCGA, go check them out if you're in Southern California, obviously and uh, really good organization. I, I personally played in it when I was a junior um, out in Palm Desert and uh, had a really good experience. So um, yeah, hopefully exciting things to come. Yeah, I agree. The SCGA has been a part of my life since I was about 13 or 14 and um, you know, they're all about growing the game and so are we. So I think it's gonna be an awesome partnership and uh, hopefully we can get a lot more uh, younger kids playing and uh, you know, grow the game together with them. Mr. Uh, Dequat said, "I have no clue. I can donate. Love you guys, and have love, love you guys, and glad to have found the channel. Thank you very much for that donation. Hopefully, I didn't butcher your name, but um, <laughs> welcome. And uh, yeah, we're hopefully gonna be bringing some new videos pretty soon here." <laughs> Charles <laughs> says about a one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Charles. He likes to uh, you know, uh, budget a little. Whatever. <laughs> Mike, do you fear hitting cuts? You seem to draw everything. Yeah, uh, I, I do fear it sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not great at it. I don't practice it. I don't hit a lot of balls. Um, you know, if I was working on my game a little bit, um, you know, I'd probably. Are we offline? No, I think it's still working. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's still working. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's just an update for whatever reason. So my setup uh, when I do try and play a fates is sometimes off, and I push it a little bit too far to the right and uh, I don't have a, a really good control of my fade yet, so um, I can hit them, I just I, I prefer not to. Rick Shields is in the house, what's up Rick? What's up Rick? What's going hey. on man, when are we gonna play that match? <laughs> um, Someone I, said, do you like the Callaway putters better than your Scotties and why? And honestly, like I thought I was gonna go back to the Scotty. I told Mike, I texted him like two weeks ago after messing with that XL and I uh, was missing a lot of putts and I just went and put some work into, into it and went back to, uh, to a little bit of a different of a setup, and man, it's, it's feeling great. So if you guys get a chance to try out those Odyssey XO putters, definitely recommend it. Very soft base. Uh, distance control is a little bit, a little bit tricky. I think if you're going from like a Scotty, that, that's like a milk base, they come off a little bit hotter. But um, yeah, go check it out. Um, oh, and the different setup that he uh, was talking about was the claw. Mm. So somebody suggested it to him, and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. He's, he's back guy. playing good again, so you're, <laughs> you guys are welcome. <laughs> uh, best course to play in San Diego for the money? Mm. Santa Luz, <laughs> if you can get on. Um, that's private. Public, maybe yeah. Madeira's. I think it's about 110 bucks. Charles says, what's up, Rick Shields? <laughs> what's up? Oh, Rick, when are you coming back out? Would love to play with you, man. Uh, let us know. Have we ever used vice balls? I picked up a dozen and love them. I, you know, I honestly have been wanting to try some vice balls. I've heard nothing but good things from people and they're, they seem to be a little bit more affordable than some of the other ones on the market. So yeah, hopefully we get a chance to try them out. Wake up a little bit. Marco, do you like Liverpool's chances of beating Real in the final? Mm, I'm gonna go with Real Madrid all the way in the final. I, I think Liverpool's been playing really well, um, but I just I just can't see them taking down Ronaldo and crew. Uh, Tyler just said he just bought a foursome. Thanks a bunch. No, thank you. Uh, That's awesome. Can't wait to see you and meet you. Uh, we'll hit some shots with you guys. We're gonna bounce around a little bit and uh, play a couple holes with everybody and uh, say hi. Oh, Bisky went to visit um, work today. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brian's in the house, so if you guys want to say something up, something to Bisky, he's in here. But he said, big thanks to Mark at Club Fix, 320 yards all day. 
So he went up there to uh, do a little driver fitting with Mark, uh, who you guys have probably seen in the Bighorn video and some of the other ones. So uh, yeah, awesome stuff. Can't wait to see what uh, what he got fitted for. And we're playing tomorrow, so bring that money, B. <laughs> it's not how far you drive it, B's kid. Yeah, yeah. He'll be hitting a 320 all day, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm going to play Pebble next March, and I rewatched the video when you guys played all the time. Thank you. Yeah, that video was awesome. That trip was amazing. You know, it was for my brother's 40th birthday. Uh, it was just an overall one of the best golf trips that I've ever been on. Uh, for sure. So it, it was just probably one of the best memories uh, of four days that I've had. And it's creeping on 120,000 views. Mm. So mm, biggest video yet. Thanks to all you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you already answered this question, but what's in both of your bags? <clears throat> Go ahead, I'll let you break it I got TaylorMade M2 Driver 3 Wood. I've got a Rescue Callaway. I got Callaway Apex Irons. I've got Cleveland Wedges 1664. Um, and then I've got an Odyssey uh, Putter XO. I got the same driver as my M2, a couple years old. Uh, what is it, the M1 uh, three wood. I got a Callaway or TaylorMade M1 hybrid, 770 irons, four through gap wedge. And then for the wedges, I got the mill grind, mm -hmm. TaylorMade wedges, and then the XL putter. That's the setup. Thomas just asked if uh, you guys can sign up for the tournament. The tournament's July 16th uh, at Santa Luz. Uh, you can sign up online, it's 250 bucks. Yes, we still have plenty of open spots. Uh, feel free to book it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have lunch and a dinner. Uh, There's gonna be prizes. Paris is gonna be out there. She's gonna be hitting <laughs> shots on one of the holes. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna try to. Mbiski's gonna be there. A bunch of people that you've probably already seen on the channel, us playing with. They're all gonna be out there. So, it's gonna be a good crew. What's your low score at Santa Luz? Um, oh, I think 69 or 70. I think mine was 72 or something like that. Like one over. Uh oh. I know. The big jump. Sorry. All right. My mom's in the house. What's up, moms? Mm. Sorry. Lots oh. of messages up oh, right here. No. And also, we're going to be in Hawaii in July. I don't know if we mentioned this recently, but we're going to be out mm. in Maui. Um, what are the dates we're going out there? July. <laughs> so, I don't know if we so should say anything. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be late July. Um, yeah, so we'll have some awesome vids coming from, uh, we're gonna play the, uh, the Kapalua Plantation course, I think, and the Bay, and then maybe one other one so far. And then um, I sent uh, Hula Rock a message, so I didn't hear back. Shoot me a message whenever you have a chance, man. Someone said, uh, Marco, are your Yeezys real? <laughs> Didn't, don't really seem like someone interested in hyped shoes. They are real. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't fake the funk, so. It's just, I, they're comfortable shoes and I like them. I'm not so much interested in the hype surrounding them, but yeah. Brago Golf uh, asked, what's the most golf balls you lost in a round? <laughs> I don't know. Gosh. That's a good question, though. Um, I, I don't know if you're a member out at Rams Hill, but we need to get out there and play uh, and do a, a vlog out there. <laughs> Any time frame on playing Pelican Hill. Mm. It's funny you mentioned that because that, that's one that we are looking at right now with the SCGA about getting out there and filming. So uh, they're doing an out, outing out there and I think we're gonna just kind of, it's called like, I think it's called a member outing. And when you're part of the SCGA, you basically get access to some of these courses at a reduced rate. And they basically have a day where they just, um, you know, get a hundred people together and let them out on the golf course to play it. So I think we're gonna be part of one of those outings at Pelican Hill in the upcoming months. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to film that course and bring it to you guys. Favorite apparel company. Uh, we rock a lot of Under Armour. Yeah, Under Armour and Adidas and then Travis Matthews, I think are our top three. Uh, do we eat at Phil's Barbecue? Yes, uh, <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> They've got the best barbecue in the biz. I take my kids there whenever we, uh, we play well. Um, by the way, just a quick heads up, our team's ranked fourth in the county. Uh, we won our league uh, title. Boom, so our job, second dude. one for the boys, so that was awesome. Um, and then we have CIF next week. We have a couple kids that can make it to uh, regionals and then uh, we might sneak into uh, regionals as a team too if we play well. Uh, we got a practice round out there on Thursday and uh, hopefully we dial it in. 
Are you guys making an Arizona trip anytime soon? We'll take you guys out to Quintero Golf Club, best desert golf on the planet. I just came back from Scottsdale for a bachelor party and we played talking stick out there and it totally gave me the itch to, to go back out there. I mean, <laughs> it's just so fun playing desert golf. And uh, yeah, so I think it's something that we've been talking about for a while, but haven't solidified anything. And this year is pretty busy, but hopefully, hopefully in the next year or so we can make that happen. It's, it's too close not to. I know. I mean, we've been talking about doing <laughs> desert trips for a little while and we need to get some more courses in the desert. Uh, I think we're going to go out to uh, Palm Desert with uh, Mark from the Club Picks and B and go play, I think, PGA West and um, the Faldo course. So stay tuned for that. Bob said, what's your uh, highest single hole score on, and of, and of course, uh, come to Tahoe. Oh, Bob, what's up, man? <laughs> Thanks oh, for the donation. You? Yeah, man. yeah, thank you so much. Um, I guess I'm going to say maybe a nine. It's been a while since I've taken anything really over a seven. Um, I can, it's, you know, maybe been yeah. five years plus. I don't really recall, but I'm sure I've taken a, quite a few eights. I know I have, um, but it's been a little while since then. I'm pretty sure back in the high school days I've taken something in the double digits, but I don't even want to go there. So, <laughs> it's scary to think of. Yes, uh, what's the best time to come to Tahoe, by the way? Um, yeah. We could totally make that happen. Absolutely. So, we get B-Ski, you, me, yep. and uh, I don't know, maybe JC. Bisky said, uh, technology is amazing. <laughs> Uh, Liam Kelly said, fancy a game in the UK? <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, Mini Ryder Cup. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, we're trying to set that up with Rick yeah. and Pete. Uh, that would be a lot of fun. I think it would just be like, you know, YouTube golf heaven <laughs> for us to like just get together and shoot for a couple days and do a bunch of different formats and just, you know, just have fun with it. Olympic Club for the Ryder Cup. Mm. Oh, that would be sick. Oh, God, that's a tough, uh, tough course. Yeah. <laughs> of course, it beat me up a little bit. If you guys uh, haven't watched it, go back and check it out. Um, I think I topped one like 100 yards. I'm 13, started a couple months ago. What are some tips you all have? I say just uh, get out there and uh, hit a bunch of chips and putts. You know, I think chipping and putting is the best uh, key to, you know, successful golf. Jump on YouTube, try and find a YouTuber that, or not a YouTuber, but like a golfer that you like, uh, maybe Ricky Fowler or somebody that has a good setup, and then try and mimic that and, um, you know, just feel it. And I think chipping and putting is the best way. Don't go out there and, you know, hit a lot of drives and uh, long irons. It's not going to help you as much, but if you get really good around the greens, it'll be, you know, definitely beneficial uh, in the future. Preston said, uh, what part of your game have you both been working on the most? And I've, I've been working on my chipping, honestly, recently. Chipping and putting, especially with the new putter, I want to get that dialed in before we head down to Atlanta. And the chipping, you know, I just feel like that's kind of the weakest part of my game right now. I've been focused so much on driver and irons and everything in the last six months, going back to hitting a draw. I finally feel comfortable with that part. So yeah, short game, just like Mike mentioned. <laughs> James said, were you guys as disappointed as me when Patrick Reed won? <laughs> uh, you know, he won the tournament, you know, I, I got to give it to the guy. I'm not a huge fan of his either, but uh, Jordan Spieth was definitely somebody I was rooting for. Um, but yeah, I mean, Patrick Reed, I mean, I don't think anybody was really rooting for him. <laughs> oh, really? Sorry if Patrick Reed is watching, but... Nate just made a $5 donation, said love the channel and keep up the good work. Thank, Thank you, you, Nate. Definitely appreciate it. You guys have to start repping your foot, boy. Foot Joy Manchella sandals. Yeah, you won't see me in those. I don't even know what that is. The sandals with spikes on them. Oh, uh, like yeah. Awesome. yeah. That's a now. Yeah. That's a now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, playing Tory North late June. Best tip. Tory North, um, you know... Everything the, breaks towards the water. <laughs> yeah. And the greens are totally different. They just they redid really that golf course. And I, I've only played it three times, but it's a lot easier than what I remember it was uh, before. Um, just stay below the pin, I think. And uh, just know that your chips are going to run out a little bit. Uh, Dylan said, would you guys consider playing with fans? Um, we've already played with a bunch of fans from the channel. Um, typically, we play with mostly juniors. Yeah. So, um, but we have um, played with like you know a bunch of other guys. So check out the videos. 
<laughs> what do you guys think about, about the Kirkland four piece ball? And I think Mike's gonna tell you all about the four piece ball from Kirkland. You know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna mention Kirkland in another sentence and golf ball, so I'm just gonna stay. That's actually what <laughs> caused this channel to, uh, you know. That is true. And that was thanks the Thanks to Kirkland, yeah. Marco had a put a, I don't know if you guys see Marco's channel, but um, he's got a personal channel and he put a golf vid up on it and he asked me a question about Kirkland <laughs> golf balls and people were beating on me a little bit, so. That's how it all got started. That's how it all got started. Oh man, that's a no, good <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Uh, uh, somebody said they're addicted and need your fix. <laughs> um, yeah, we're, we're gonna be probably another couple weeks out for another vid. <laughs> I mean, nobody likes to hear that, but that's the truth. Um, I'm in golf season with CIF and Marco's got a lot going on too. After we film the next video, I'm gonna bang it out because I know it's been a long time. So as soon as we get the next one filmed, it's gonna be coming out pretty much a day or two after, so. Yeah, and just a reminder, we're gonna play out at the Crosby May 23rd uh, with Paris and Claire. Um, and we're going to do a giveaway with an Odyssey uh, putter, so stay tuned for that. Someone said, uh, you haven't lived unless you've taken a 12 in competition. <laughs> <laughs> well, you That's know what, I think if you've taken a 12 in competition, you should probably stop competing for just a little bit. Uh, um, I don't know how you take a 12. Michael said, ever think of right in there being the official motto? It seems to be the most used phrase in the course for you guys. I would buy the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> well, we'll consider it. <laughs> uh, best golf vlogs on YouTube by far. Thanks for sharing this content, guys. I look forward to each video much better than, I'm not going to say, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate it. Marco's the man that makes all the magic happen. The guy's the best when it comes to editing. He just pieces it together, makes everybody look okay, great. That's and not, you know what? Just doing my we, part. We really what? appreciate so you doing all the editing yeah, and no, hard work. Dude, I love you guys. I love so, doing it. I love playing, being it, just having the opportunity to do it. I, I think we'd be fools not to not to make the most out of it. So, you know, just happy to bring it to you guys. Someone just made a big donation. Ooh. Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt says, uh, don't let this donation influence the XO giveaway. Okay, so just full disclosure, the XO is not gonna be the one that's given away. It's gonna be um, the O-Works uh, mallet that they gave us. So, um, but I've got the XO, he's got the XO, and I got the, I've got the Rossi, he's got the seven. Um, so we're gonna be rolling it, uh, you know, well, tomorrow. <laughs> You'll see a little <laughs> bit of it on Instagram. What'd you, what was that? I just threw out a seven. Oh, really? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say, like, two. <laughs> so it's my brother's birthday tomorrow, so I just want to wish him a quick happy birthday. Happy birthday, B. <laughs> He's going to be 41, and uh, we're going to go out to uh, Palma Valley and go play 18 and go take a few few bucks off of him on his birthday. You know, the cost of doing business on the golf course for your birthday. So you're welcome, B. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John said, Adidas 360 2.0, best golf shoes. Your thoughts on golf shoes? Yes, I totally agree with it. Uh, Marco's got a couple pairs. I've got a couple pairs. They're the Not best. Those. No? I got the Adi Pures. Oh, the Adi Pures. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The Adi Pures are probably the best. You know, I, I, I think shoes are a, a very individual thing. I think the materials and everything that they use in them is kind of comparable. Obviously, it's different, but you just have to find what you like. and. Uh, I love the Audi Pure. It's been rocking those for probably two or three years now. And uh, yeah, Adidas just makes good shoes in general, so it's pretty tough to beat. So Bob said, Tahoe, anytime between June and September for best conditions, August is probably the prime time. Ooh, Do we have time in August? I feel like that's an open month. It's gotta be the first week of August though, because I've got golf season. Let's make it happen, Mike. So come back from Maui, then go to Tahoe. Yeah, I mean, oh maybe we could, I could do the family trip. We can bring Ash and Elon, okay. get a place, you okay. know, so they have something to do while we're Bob, I'll text you. We'll work out the details. We're going to make, make it happen. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll start scheming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can make happen. You should start Thank a podcast, Jack said. I heard some of the other guys started a podcast. Didn't me and Mike all start a podcast? Yeah, they I did. haven't heard it yet, but... Um, I don't know what we would do with the podcast. Same I mean, thing we're doing now, just no video. Yeah, just yeah, no just video. Just talk crap. Maybe interview people. Uh, we could get people on this. 
Yeah, I guess we could, we could interview. Yeah. What if we brought B in, threw him in the middle of us? Oh, dude, I think V would be like the perfect <laughs> podcast guy. <laughs> He'd probably um, run his own podcast. <laughs> all right, Brian said any. Ch- oh, oh, sorry about that, uh, Cocho. Big cat's kind of getting sloppy over here uh, with the, dude, with the it's scrolling. Uh, YouTube needs to fix it. Uh, uh, Brian, <laughs> Brian, Brian said, uh, Brian Kim, uh, any chance there would be a day where you all YouTube golfers get together for a tournament? I think that would break the YouTube <laughs> golf world. Yes, uh, I totally agree. I, I'm, I've been rooting for it for a while. Um, I think it's just hard with everyone's schedule to get together. Um, I know me and my golf are down here in San Diego quite a bit now, uh, working over at TaylorMade. So they seem like awesome guys. We had dinner with them a little while ago, and um, you know we'll, we'll definitely try and get together with everybody. But you know they live in different parts of the world, so it's it's a little bit tough with everyone's schedule. And I mean the TaylorMade tournament that they put on every year, they get a lot of those guys in it. Did um, they do it again this year? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't think they I don't did. Think they did. I didn't hear about that's it. That's true, that's a good point. So they did it last year, but they didn't do it this year. Yeah, I think um, we should do something around the PGA show or somewhere where we already know where they're going to be next year. And all right, next year, happen. PGA show. We kind of flaked out on the PGA show. It just seemed too yeah. corporate for us, and we were like, ah, oh, we're out. And, um, and our schedules were a little hectic during that, was. that time, too, so I think that played a role. But next year, I think we can do it. Uh, when will Tiger win next? This week? I don't think he's going to win this week, but he will win this year. That's my prediction. Favorite female golfer, Blair O'Neill or Paige Frannick? Um, I don't know. That's, I don't even, I, I mean, no are, comment. are they even pros? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the real question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Oak Creek or Strawberry Farms? Haven't played Strawberry Farms. Oak Creek is a good golf course. It's tough. Uh, it's rewarding. It's out in the desert. It's kind of a long trip. We should probably make it, but we just haven't done it yet. Have you played the Lano Golf Course in Chino Hills? No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> I was thinking about something else. I don't know if that was for me. Uh, top of the market for best fish in San Diego from Beeski, who knows his fish. <laughs> <laughs> USAM at Ooh, Pebble Beach. Any that's thoughts? Gonna be, that's gonna uh, be fun to watch. Oh, I thought I thought they were thinking that we were gonna go. Oh, are we? No, we're, <laughs> we're not. We're not going to be entering any golf tournaments and, and uh, vlog it, so that's, that's a no. Kurt said I want a refund. Sorry, no refunds, Kurt. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, yeah, we do refunds. So <laughs> don't listen to him. He's just kidding. Um, Aaron said my brother's birthday is today. Oh, that's nice. awesome. B Ski says thanks for the B Day love, and it's gonna be easy money, Junior. All right, well we'll see. Maybe we'll put it on the next live feed on who wins with the money, and I will take your money on your birthday. I'm not that kind of guy that wouldn't. Oh man, got chippy today. Uh, what's the closest to quitting you have been a love hate relationship? Uh, golf. I mean, I think you take breaks sometimes. You know, when it gets tough and it gets frustrating, but I don't think I'd ever give it up completely. Never. Yeah, it's the only addiction. I Same really boat. I took break uh, pretty much after high school for mm-hmm. a couple of years, and then kind of when me and this guy started hanging out ten plus years ago, kind of got back into it. Golf's one of those things, at least for me, that you know it helps having a good friend that plays it and kind of reminds you to get out there because it's a it's a commitment financially, time wise, everything. So yeah, Andrew said um, that we need to plan a, a YouTube golf event like one or two years in advance to make it happen. I agree. That's true. Um, start pinging, uh, you know, all all the YouTubers. Me and my golf. Hit up Rick Shields. Hit up Peter Finch. You know, just keep nagging them because I mean, persistence beats resistance, and uh, <laughs> we're down for it. So um, we just got to make it happen. Do you guys play the PlayStation? No, but play the Xbox, FIFA 18 all day. Andrew, he said it's his dream to organize it. Boom, there it is. Yeah, we just need somebody to take charge, handle it. Exactly right. Um, I I can help, you know, with the tournament if you need. Um, So yeah. Cooper just made a ten dollar donation. Accounting homework, golf strong. (laughs) Any wedge recommendations? Uh, I'm a huge Cleveland Callaway guy. so those are my two wedge recommendations. I'll give you one that I you probably wouldn't expect to hear, and that's ping. The ping wedges. I forget what they're called, but I hit them at Santa Luz uh, a couple weeks ago, and they felt absolutely. I was about to order them. I just kind of 
I didn't, but uh, they felt great. So maybe try some things out too. Uh, John said, have either of you guys played the Bridges? Yes, I've played it a couple times. Yep. Um, we did reach out to them to see if they wanted to have us out, but they didn't really want to have us out, so we're not going to be going out there for uh, for a vlog. Go to breakfast food. Let's say it on three. One, two, three. Original breakfast burrito. Oh. oh, man. Oh, you're saying the place? <laughs> yeah, the original house. <laughs> oh, okay. We're, him and I had breakfast there the other day. It's the best breakfast spot in San Diego, the original house. You said breakfast food. Oh, sorry. No. I, I missed that part. Screw that up. I got the music in my ear. I thought we were going to hit the breakfast, yeah, breakfast, breakfast burrito, burrito at the same yeah, time. Yeah, breakfast burrito for <laughs> favorite food, yeah. <laughs> we got another burrito. Uh, Patty Golf, what's going on, dude? Hope. I haven't seen your channel in a while, but hopefully it's all going well and it's growing. Uh, uh, someone said, were you guys just in Arizona? How was it? I was out there for a bachelor party uh, two weekends ago, so it was fun. It was hot. It was like 105 degrees out there and uh, played talking stick. It was a good five and a half hour round, so... Um, but still, it was a good course. Greens were in great shape and uh, we just played a little scramble and uh, had a lot of fun. Andrew E said, did you guys uh, see Gabe Ryder's new video in La Costa? He's back after five months in New Zealand. I don't know who he is. Uh, yeah, Gabe from... Uh, Gabe Ryder? Oh, Gabe... Uh, yeah, he reached out to us. Oh, yeah. Him and Blair reached out. They want to do a collab, so I haven't gotten back to them, but I think we're going to be able to set something up in a few months when our schedules kind of mellow out. Yeah. And the ping wedges were, thank you, 187 Denver, Denver Glide 2.0. That's what they're called, so yeah, give them a shot. Have you ever tried the Cobra F8? No. Or any, well, you used to play Cobra back yeah, in the day, like, right? Yeah, 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, Thoughts on Golf Tech? What's that? Is that <laughs> golf grips? No, Golf Tech is uh, like a system where you can go get fitted and lessons in a simulator. So, um, I've never been in one, so I can't really comment. Um, I'm sure it's good for uh, numbers and, you know, if, if the guy who's, you know, obviously teaching you yeah. and, and going over the numbers knows what he's doing, then it's nothing but benefit. So how do you know, how do you know, if, if you don't know it, how do you know if they you know what they're talking about? Well, there you go. <laughs> That's a great question. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. uh. Do you recommend a club fitting for someone that's only been playing about a month? No. 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 Just keep swinging, get, get your groove, get your feeling, and then um, just get your lie angles, and then, you know, for the most part, you can almost fit yourself, um, but you can definitely go into, like, Golf Tech or, um, I don't know, Golf Mart or somewhere where, you know, they can fit you. PGA Superstore. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of places. Augustine said, I need a recommendation. I need a three hybrid. How does the TaylorMade RBZ performance. I haven't hit the RBZ, but I do play a three hybrid TaylorMade M1. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's like three years old. Um, it's not the latest and greatest, but it just, the ball flight's good. It's easy to get off the ground. And uh, yeah, I think TaylorMade, TaylorMade makes great clubs and so does Callaway. So just try them out. Um, you know, some of the, some of the TaylorMade ones, like the M2, you know, series, I think they're just too hot. Distance control is an issue with those. So I personally wouldn't, wouldn't play clubs like that, but um, if you need distance, then that'd be great for you. Forrest asked, uh, Marco, what is the update on your backyard putting green? <laughs> so the, the backyard putting green is just uh, one phase of the whole landscape project. And right now we're, we just laid irrigation, uh, did gas lines and electrical and pulled all the audio and video cables to the backyard. So um, the pool's in, but it's just concrete. So we're still probably about six, five to six months out until you guys can actually see something that um, is going to look like a putting green, but it's going to be sick. It's just a long project. Uh, James said, shot my local course record over the weekend. Boys minus three. Nice. Congrats. Nice so uh, Gabriel said, what's up guys? Long time to see. Have you guys done the full Callaway fitting yet? No, we have not. Um, timing has not allowed us to do so, so we're just trying to find the right time, maybe over the summer, to uh, make it happen. Is the channel where you thought it would be and where your focus is going forward? John asks. Uh, the channel is, I think it, we didn't set specific goals for the channel. Um, we, we did in the beginning and now it's been more like, let's create videos when we have time because it got a little bit, it got a little hectic and a little stressful because 
it became, we were trying to put out so many videos so consistently that everything else in our lives kind of took the back seat. And we kind of realized throughout last year that that's not really sustainable for us. Um, I personally lost interest in editing. You know, I just like checked out and I got burnt out on it. So I think this new kind of moving forward for us, it's going to be about sustain, being able to sustain the level that we're at and create videos at least once a month, have a series maybe you know, two or three times a month when, when we go on trips, but we want to be able to do it over the long haul and um, you know, the numbers are what they are. We're just going to keep making videos because we love it. So. Yeah, and, and you know, the response and the comments that we've gotten from you know, parents and kids and we've had a lot of people reach out and uh, been very positive and sent us a lot of really great messages. So I think you know, help growing the game for the younger generation is the most important part of what we're doing. And uh, we're not trying to keep up with the numbers and trying to, you know, hit a certain mark. You know, it's nice to have those, you know, um, but ultimately it's just about growing the game and uh, trying to get more uh, younger kids uh, involved and uh, make it fun for everybody. That's really what the, the channel is all about. And, uh, you know, uh, the positive feedback that we've gotten from, from a lot of people, it's, it's been amazing. Andrew said, Marco, what do you mean by when the club is too hot? Uh, so... All I was talking about was the distance. It, it, you know, if you get one of these hybrids that you're hitting like 250 yards, what I've typically seen in some of these game improvement irons and, and hybrids is that the distance control, the variance is so big. So if you pure one, it might go say 240, but if you miss it, it's like 200 yards. You know, so that that's a huge, uh, a huge gap in distance. Whereas with mine, I feel like if I miss hit it, I might lose five, six, seven yards. So that that would equate to me still hitting a green or me hitting the back of the green, you know, it would still be somewhere around the green versus like shooting it over the green and into hazard. So, um, yeah, distance is good, but you know, uh, you have to be a little bit careful as well. Um, have you guys ever thought of bringing someone else on the golf course just to film, even though they may cost extra? Um, yeah, we did, but it's tough. You know, with golf, you gotta be prepared. You gotta anticipate the other person's needs and, I mean, Marco and I are, you know, we've been doing this for a little while and we make it look easy, but, um, you know, whenever I've got the camera, he helps with the clubs and vice versa. So, um, you know, I don't, I don't think uh, we're quite there yet. Yeah, you know? I, I think adding another person, the only thing it would really be helpful for without um, intruding too much into like our games and everything would be with the drone maybe and getting some of the shots. But in terms of us filming each other, I mean, we're just so efficient out there with the camera and knowing where to be and all that stuff. I think it, um, adding another person would just, it would slow things down to be honest with you. Yeah. Have you ever played Pine Valley? Have not. Nor have I I've never played it. Um, how often do we get out and play? Uh, right now it's like once every other week, yeah. um, you know, about twice a month we're trying to get out. Um, so our games might be a little rusty <laughs> next time we go out, but, um, you know, yeah. Have you ever considered a uh, coaching series? No. You know, we, we thought, of, when we started this channel, we figured out what niche we wanted to kind of go into. We knew we didn't want to do coaching. We didn't want to do product reviews, really. We just wanted to go out and play golf and show people how fun it is. And that, that was kind of like our whole goal. People have asked us for to do coaching stuff, to do club reviews. And I think it's one of those things where we probably wouldn't be as passionate about it um, over the long haul. It's like, it'd be kind of forced, I think. Yeah. And and people are already doing it. Yeah, and, and me and my golf are awesome at it. Rick Shields is awesome at it. Peter Finch has a bunch of stuff on it. I mean, those guys, been doing a lot longer than we have, you know, it's their profession. I would, you know, recommend using them. Um, you know, for us, you know, we're just trying to, you know, have fun out there, uh, show you guys how much fun we're having, uh, and show the experience that, you know, we're having out there, so, you know. Gabriel said, uh, is the Golf Holix tournament still on? It definitely is, Gabriel. Link's down in the description. Uh, check it out, get signed up uh, if you guys can make it. We'd love to have all you guys out there, and. Uh, it's going to be a blast. We should have good weather. Of course, it's going to be closed down. It's on Monday. It's going to be closed down. It's going to be all ours. We're having the the, uh, the greenskeeper, you know, set them up to be about a 13 and firm. So you guys are going to get like tournament conditions. It is going to be it's going to be brutal, uh, but it's going to be a lot of fun. You guys are going to be able to see what uh, what Santa Luz is, is made of. 
So Trent said, organizing a 12-man uh, buddies trip just up to nice. Temecula next month, uh, Ryder Cup style. Any recommendations on round-by-round -round format? Uh, you know, there's so many. Match play uh, singles, match play doubles, alternate shot. Pinehurst. What's Pinehurst? The one where like two people tee off, you pick, you switch balls, oh. and then you like finish up from the other person's tee shot. Oh. That sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. I like that one too. Yeah, there, there's a lot of good ones. Yeah, so I, yeah, any of those are good. Uh, and there's some good courses up in Temecula. Pachanga's one of them, so. Uh, Andrew said, how many players have signed up for the Golf Alex tournament? I think about 40 right now. Yep. So we're going to try and get to 70 um, for our first tournament. And uh, hopefully we can, we can fill that number up. Any tips on how to break 80? So I'll give you some tips. I've been, I have been stuck in the low 80s for the longest time. And it was more mental than it was kind of ability wise that I think kept me from shooting in the 70s. I just, any time that I had a good round going, um, I, would, I would be thinking about it. I would be like, oh man, I'm on track to, to break 80. Like, and I would, I would try harder, but perform worse, you know? So yeah, Mike talks about not thinking on the golf course and just going out there and breathing, you know, and like sounds so simple. And he tells me this crap and I'm like, no, dude, I gotta like focus up here. I gotta like analyze. But you get into over analysis paralysis into thinking about everything. Just go out there, have fun. Don't think about the score and just do what you're doing. You know, if you, you know, make a bad swing, whatever, just focus on that next shot and uh, stay, stay present. And uh, I think that's probably the best advice that I can give you other than that, just believe in yourself that you can do it. and. Uh, yeah, hopefully that works. Uh, Michael K uh, asks, uh, can I pay you for uh, lessons, coach? Um, if you're a kid, yes. Uh, if you're an adult, I, I really don't have the time. I'm not super cheap either. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, shoot me a message on Instagram and we can chat a little bit more. Charles said, flying into the tourney, can't wait. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to meet you, Charles. Yeah, Charles has crashed at my house. I know, I offered him my couch, but uh, Marco has a nicer house, so <laughs> he's gonna he, he jump the couch to stay in a nice, uh, cozy bed, so. Um, James said, started using Mike's grip to draw the ball and it's working like a charm. It, it Boom. sure does. <laughs> it sure does, James. I can draw any golf ball. <laughs> Off um, almost any line, which it, is amazing. Yeah. Could be six inches below your feet. Don't let anybody tell you about your grip. You stick with what works for you. Right. You know, I'm a more of a field player, and uh, I mean, obviously, Jim Furyk is good enough to uh, you know make it on tour. And uh, there's many ways to skin a cat, so uh, stick with it. Kurt said, uh, "If you're after to showcase the, the spirit of the game, you have succeeded. Here's the only vlogs worth uh, the time. Just keep David Tomsing it. <laughs> Kurt, Appreciate those you, words, Kurt. Yeah, that means a lot to us." Um, yeah, we don't watch a lot of YouTube either. You know, um, if we do, it's going to be Peter, or Rick, or uh, me and my golf. Um, but yeah, obviously, <laughs> our videos, you know, we, we, we love them. We watch them over and over again, too. So, 187 Denver just said you guys watch much YouTube. So, yeah, that was your answer. I'll rarely watch anything on there. Uh, maybe I'll check out like a Peter McKinnon video, Casey Neistat, not so much anymore. Um, and the other, I honestly, like I find other golf videos boring and I'm not trying to be disrespectful to the creators. I just, I love playing golf, but I don't necessarily love watching it. So, and when we spend so much time editing videos and making them, uh, I'm kind of like tapped out on, on, on videos. So yeah, watch shows on Netflix though. Uh, Kyle said, uh, what's Mike's grip in order to draw the ball more? I don't think I've ever seen that in any of the vids. All right, let me show you. All right, so it's just, I show me some knuckles right here. Um, so, and then I come from underneath. <laughs> and then I just grip it from right there and it just, it's easy. It's easy to just take it back on that plane and it's that simple. All right, a couple more questions and we're gonna shut it down. Let's see. Favorite accessories while playing? I think the only thing we really use is a range finder. I mean, that's probably the, the biggest one that I can think yeah. of. Uh, and your and your Bose little speaker, portable speaker. <laughs> We're usually rocking the Golf Alex playlist, so. All day. Yeah. Uh, Jay Musa said, watching all the way from Zimbabwe. <laughs> What's sick. up, man? That's awesome. <laughs> what time is it in Zimbabwe, dude? Yeah, what time is it? Let's see. 11.17 oh, okay. It's not as late as I thought. It's 11.17 in Zimbabwe. Uh, 
Uh, will you guys consider adding someone to the team like Luke Kwan? Thanks. No, uh, we're a two-man team, <laughs> and uh, there will be nobody else that will, that will be joining us other than my brother and you know a few guests like Paris and. and Claire. Yeah, we'll have guests out all the time. We love playing with other people, but yeah, that's it. All right, yeah, all right one more. One more. What time? What would be the number one bucket list course for you guys to play? Augusta. Yeah. I mean, it's got to be. And then probably Cyprus. <laughs> uh, so let's say, please don't go out loud your faces. <laughs> All right, we'll stay for a couple more minutes. Uh, oh, you sucked us in. Uh, All right, what do we got? Uh, what else can we fill them in on? What else is going on in, uh, in our lives? Uh, Chris, Chris said, what's up with... Uh, just a little knockdown shirt. And eh, we haven't done that yet. We're kind of yeah. stepping away from the merchandise thing. It takes up too much time and energy. There's no money in it. The ROI um, is terrible. Man. You know, not that we're trying to make money, but it's just, it's a lot of time and energy to, you know, barely break even. And it's just, you know, we're already investing a lot of money into this. So we're gonna, we're gonna just slow down on the merchandise for a little bit. But yeah. you can pick up one of these hats online. Yeah. Golfholics.com. Just keep and, up. The great uh, ones are running out, so yeah. no joke. When's the next live stream? Next week? Two weeks? Next month? We don't know. That's the beauty of it, Andrew. <laughs> you know, you just never know when it's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Marco, what size lens do you typically use when shooting videos? Um, I think it's like, uh, it depends on what camera we're using. If we're using both, it's a 12 mil millimeter, but it's micro four thirds. So it ends up being like, I don't know, 32 millimeter. It's basically just a big wide angle lens that um, you can use in selfie mode. Uh, because of the any anything that's zoomed in obviously it's too close to your face and then the one that we have on this camera that we mainly use I think is like a 12 to 12 to 60 so it has some zoom um, but yeah, that's, that's the setup so Aaron said golfholics forum question mark I'm um, sure yeah we could do something like that we, we have a private thread with a few of the guys on the channel that we just all communicate and you know, talk a lot of smack too. Yeah. So, um, Aaron's one of them, Mark is one, and Charles is uh, another, and then my brother, of course. Um, so, if you guys want to do something like that, let us know. She just, you know, some comments. Whoever wants to be the admin, let us know. Yeah. Because we're not going to be, we're not going to be managing it. So, I think someone set one up on Reddit a while ago. Oh, but really? I never, it's not really getting any action. Uh, when is the next video coming out? We're not sure, but probably May 24th or 5th. Yeah. We're going to be playing out at the Crosby on the 23rd with Paris and Claire. So that's going to be an awesome uh, video. And we're going to do a giveaway with the Odyssey putter that they donated to us. So, um, you know, stay tuned for that one. Those sparkly white shoes, Marco, what are they? They're the Adidas Adi Pures. And, uh, you know, I just take a towel and put a little water on it and wipe them down before every round. That's that's the magic sauce right there. <laughs> oh man, Chris said he's already got a hat and a shirt. Thanks so much. Pick up a different color, you know. Uh, Aaron from uh, uh, the the video from Santa Luz with Mark. Uh, he's got his kids wearing our hats. It's awesome. It's so cool to see. Do you guys use four links or golf now? Neither. Uh, neither. We use the phone. We just call the course. Do you guys consider Bisky the third member of Golf Pollux? Or Paris. Or Paris. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good question. I mean, Bisky's my bro, so, you know, <laughs> he's family. Uh, Paris is family, though, that's, too. Gotta give it so, to Bisky. But yeah, Bisky's our boy. Yeah. Family. Yeah. <laughs> All right, no more questions. Okay. Do you have anything else? Well, I was going to read one more, but... Go ahead. No, 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 please. Uh, I miss when you guys used to do one live stream every Wednesday or Thursday every week. I used to reserve one day a week for this live stream, mm -hmm. lol. Andrew, we're so sorry, dude. I, I mean, we love hearing that, and we will try to be more consistent. Um, just right now, our schedules are slammed. Uh, golf season will end for me after next week, uh, maybe if we don't make it to regionals. Um, but if it is, then it's basically till uh, the 21st of May. I'm, I'm pretty much on lockdown, and uh, this guy's pulling double duty at work also. Um, so, yeah, we're, we'll do our best to, to be more informative and uh, do it once a week. Uh, but John said, uh, Range Rover Escalade, Range Rover. <laughs> okay, that's the last question. All right, guys, uh, we love you. We'll see you for the next one. Video coming soon. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. And July 16th, uh, the golf tournament uh, it will be in the link in the description below. 
uh, sign up. It's 250 bucks, lunch and dinner, play with us. And uh, we'll you can bring your that. spouse too. You can just, there's an option for just a meal. So if you want to bring someone, they just ride it with you in the car, totally okay. Um, it's going to be a blast. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great day, play some golf. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's it. See you for the next one.